Today, we're diving into one of the hottest topics in the tech world, the upcoming iPhone 16. Apple's big reveal is just around the corner, expected in September 2024, and the rumor mill is buzzing with excitement. So what can we expect in terms of pricing and new features? Let's jump right in. Apple has a reputation for sticking to its schedule, so it's no surprise that we're gearing up for the iPhone 16 announcement in September. But the big question on everyone's mind is, how much will it cost? Over the past few years, Apple has kept the pricing for its iPhone lineups relatively stable. The entry-level models for the iPhone 14 and iPhone 15 started at $800, with the Plus versions bumping up slightly to $900. The Pro models stayed at $1,000, but we did see a $100 increase for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which started at $1,199. This was mainly because Apple ditched the 128GB storage option, making 256 gigabytes the new baseline. If Apple keeps things the same, we can expect similar prices for the iPhone 16 lineup. However, there's a twist this year. Rumors suggest we might see an iPhone 16 Ultra, which could start at $1,200 or even higher. Adding to the mix, Back and Code has revealed five upcoming iPhone 16 models. This could be an Ultra or even a more affordable iPhone Southeast 4, potentially priced around $499. So there's a lot to look forward to. Now let's talk about the exciting new features. The iPhone 16 is expected to natively run Apple Intelligence, but only on devices with a 7T chips or later. Plus, we're hearing whispers about an upgrade to Wi-Fi 7, promising speeds up to 30 gigabits per second. Imagine the possibilities. Beyond AI and Wi-Fi 7, the iPhone 16 lineup is set to receive several notable upgrades. For starters, every 16th gen iPhone looks set to get the action button, which was limited to the 15 Pro last year. This is great news for those who love customizing their iPhone experience. We've also seen prototypes of the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus with a different camera layout. The Pro models may feature an improved 48 megapixel ultra wide lens enhancing your photography game. While camera rumors have been all over the map, these are just a few changes we might see. There's also talk that the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max will boast larger displays. The Pro model could measure 6.3 inches while the Pro Max might come in at a hopping 6.9 inches making them some of the largest iPhones ever. And of course, we can't forget the heart of the iPhone, the chip. The entire iPhone 16 lineup is expected to receive the A18 chip, with the Pro models likely getting an A18 Pro variant. This means even better performance and efficiency. Now let's address the elephant in the room, rising component costs. 2024 has seen price hikes across the board for many tech companies. For example, Samsung bumped the price of their high-end Galaxy S24 Ultra to $1,299. With these rising costs, it wouldn't be surprising if the iPhone 16 saw a similar jump. The supersized Pro Max reportedly cost Apple $558 to make, while the iPhone 15 saw a cost increase to $423, a 16% rise compared to the iPhone 14. Last year, Apple absorbed these costs. Will they do it again this year? Only time will tell. According to McCrumors, Apple resellers in China are resorting to promotions to move iPhone 15 stock. Meanwhile, Chinese manufacturers like OnePlus and Huawei are gaining popularity, thanks in part to their strong focus on AI. This competitive landscape might influence Apple's pricing strategy. It's worth noting that rumors about price increases aren't new. Before the launch of the iPhone 15, many speculated that the Pro and Pro Max models would see price hikes. While the Pro Max did go up in price, this was likely due to the elimination of the 128GB storage variant. We'll know more when Apple holds its September 2024 event. Until then, and stay tuned to our channel for all the latest updates on the future of the iPhone. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech news and rumors. Let us know in the comments what you're most excited about for the iPhone 16. See you next time. In just a few months' time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. 
The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across, a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the thumb itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163mm in height and 77.58mm in width versus 159.9mm and 76.7mm for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retaining colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz promotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be a first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256GB version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time.